I spent the day in the shade of a tree Thinking how we best spend this precious time that we've been given Changshui's Ma Cholong was once a forbidden area located on the Hong Kong mainland border. As the government gradually reduced the number of restricted areas, a growing number of people have come to explore this special place. We begin our journey from Ma Cholong Police Post, first to Macintosh Forts, then to Tak Yut Lao Police Post, and finally to the peak of Tai Shek Mo. The whole trip will take around two hours. Just ten minutes into our adventure, we arrived at the Macintosh Forts, which were listed as Grade Two historic buildings. Built in the 1940s and 50s, the seven historical police posts were named after the former police commissioner Duncan William Macintosh. Today, the forts are still in operation and uses an electronic monitoring system. Here we go. The Hu Hok Wai wetlands in Lok Ma Chau exude a peaceful and quiet feeling, in contrast to the skyscrapers in neighboring Shenzhen. Our guide Mo is the creator of a hiking-themed website with details of some 190 hiking trails. He said Ma Chou Lung exemplifies the different vibes of Hong Kong and Shenzhen. Before 2013, this place was a restricted zone, but it has since been open to the public and is now a hiking hotspot. Right on the border is the Tag Yut Lao police post, which lies on the riverbanks of Ngtong River. Just on the other side of the river is Lowu Station. Visitors can only pass through the frontier with a permit. Next stop, Tai Shek Mo. Let's begin the hike. The trail contains a lot of gravel and there isn't much shade. Since there's quite a slope here, be careful. It's really tiring and it really takes your breath away. But just 50 meters away and we'll reach our destination. Our goal is the telecom facility on the peak. You can have a 360 degree view here on the summit of Tai Shek Mo. Take a spin and you'll have a nice view of Shengshui and even Shenzhen. Just in front of us are some ruins of military structures. They were manned by the army in the past to prevent illegal immigration. And it's a perfect spot for enjoying the sunset. You can see the wetlands here. And as nightfall approaches, you will be able to see both Hong Kong and Shenzhen. Mo recalls a change of Hong Kong scenery over the years. Take the villages of the northeastern New Territories as example. Five or six years ago versus how they look now, so much has changed. I hope while development in the city can continue, the government can help to preserve history.